It looks half dead. But I'm Ching! So, science, what can it do for me? That's why you're here, right? Right. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was gravity, and semen, and magnetism, and heat induction, and microwaves, but nobody knew it was there yet. And they're all obsessed with this shit. Cause she claimed to give birth even though she was a virgin. Ooh, scary! Ha ha ha! So they worshipped the baby. Baby. Even though it was a baby. A baby. And then the baby grew up and they killed it. But they still worshipped him. And they worshipped the mom and said they saw her face in waffles. Waffles. And then they discovered gravity and heat induction and semen and microwaves and evolution and genetics and global warming and some people said, Hey, I believe in gravity and semen and genetics and evolution and global warming. But then the other people said, Well, I still believe in the ba ghost baby and the virgin and the oogie boogie man who loves us all and sometimes sends hurricanes, but it's okay, we, we probably, probably deserve it. it. And so they formed governments. And the people that believed in smart things were called liberals. And the people that believed in really, really stupid things were in charge of everything. And so nobody was allowed to believe anything smart. And we all had to believe some really, really Stupid stories. Stupid. My great, 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 thank you, Tizzy, great grandfather Jebediah Raya quashed knowledge. He squashed science. Lying. Uh, he, uh, well, now we know better. Well, <laughs> and some of you are saying... Ah, uh, and some of you are saying, Nikol, I believe in science, but my God is really important to me too. I believe in evolution, and I believe in global warming, but why can't I believe in a God who loves me too? And me. Hmm. Because it's stupid and childish. You know better. This uh, revelation. God equals comfort. God equals comfort. <coughs> Science equals comfort. Comfort equals control. We are at the threshold of revelation. And guess who's leading you there? That's right, your old friend, Nigel Jeffries. <gasps> Say what? Why are you called Nigel Jebediah Ryerson? Nigel Jebediah Ryerson is dead. And so are each and every one of you. Dead. 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 And you are all reborn in the eyes of science. I will science each and every one of you in this room. I know this is hard for some people to accept. Especially the stupid ones. Because you're stupid. So stupid. <laughs> but I have been to where you are now, and I will be to where you were later. Line. I loved God. I loved God. Love. I loved God oh, truly yeah. and deeply. No. I was born a Jebediah Ryerson. Jebediah Ryerson. Of the holy lineage. Holy Lie! When uh, I dedicated my life to God's will. I dedicated my life to God's will! God's will! <laughs> when I first when discovered... When I first discovered cube root sigma cosecant pi over yeah. two x squared minus n, I didn't want to believe it. I would have gladly recanted. I would have gladly thrown science out the window like a sheep through the window. Ah. 
But I had to accept the cold, wet facts. Science is what smart people do. Out. <laughs> 